Hi everyone, my name is Wesley, and I'm presenting our work on investigating practices and opportunities for cross-functional collaboration around AI fairness in industry practice. Effectively tackling social technical challenges like AI fairness requires substantial cross-functional collaboration among multiple roles. Cross-functional collaboration is a term used in industry settings to describe collaboration among diverse roles with various disciplinary backgrounds. To tackle AI fairness challenges, we need approaches from the social sciences to understand what fairness means for particular communities and social cultural contexts. Approaches from user research and design to understand fairness in particular use cases and domains. Technical skills in AI and machine learning and software development to address unfairness in AI system design and development, and more. However, my work has surfaced that cross-functional collaboration is often absent or ineffective in industry AI fairness work. To start with, the metric and method used to conceptualize, evaluate, and address AI fairness issues can vary or might be incommensurate across roles. In addition, although recent research has begun to develop tools and processes for cross-functional collaboration in AI development, existing tools and processes designed for tackling AI fairness issues are largely designed to be used by technical roles working in isolation and are not designed to support collaboration across roles. Finally, prior research has found that not all relevant roles in AI teams are incentivized or invited to collaborate around AI fairness. So these collaboration challenges in AI fairness prompt us to ask the following research questions in our study. First, how do industry AI practitioners overcome challenges around cross functional collaboration in AI fairness? Second, what opportunities exist to improve cross-functional collaboration around fairness in AI? To investigate, we conducted a two-stage study. We first conducted a semi-structured interviews with 17 AI industry practitioners to understand the current practices around overcoming cross-functional collaboration challenges in AI fairness. We then conducted five design workshops with 12 AI industry practitioners to create a space for multiple industry practitioners from different roles, teams, or organizations to share their experiences to each other and identify opportunities for improving cross-functional collaboration for AI fairness. If you are interested in learning more about our workshop activities, please refer to our paper for more details. Overall, our participants came from 17 technology companies with diverse roles, including technical roles like software development, software engineer and data scientist, user-facing roles like UI designer, product-facing roles like product manager, and research roles like research scientist. We deliberately recruited industry practitioners who have had experience working on fairness in AI. In the study, we found that all participants reported to have encountered collaboration challenges and have attempted to overcome these challenges in their daily work. In this talk, I'll highlight just a small sample of what we found. First, we find that practitioners go beyond their current job descriptions to bridge the gaps in the understanding and evaluation around AI fairness to improve cross-functional collaboration. For example, there are crucial differences in AI practitioners' understanding of AI fairness in specific contexts and application, which introduce challenges for effective collaboration. To bridge this gap, UX1 held design workshops similar to those workshops as designers often conduct with external client users with their internal team members to explore what a fair product recommendation system should look like. Interestingly, to better engage technical roles in discussing their understanding around AI fairness, UX2 and Product Manager 2 mentioned hosting company-wide responsible AI hackathons because hackathon is a format that's familiar for technical roles like engineers and data scientists. Another gap in AI fairness collaboration is around fairness evaluation. In particular, technical roles focus primarily on model outputs, whereas user and product facing roles tend to focus on bias and harms perceived by users. To bridge the gap around AI fairness evaluation, we heard from PM1 that they repurposed some of their regular team level or hands meetings as co evaluation meetings. PM1 also spent extra effort designing activities for these code evaluation meetings to scaffold both technical roles and user-facing roles 
in understanding and aligning each other's perspectives on evaluating fairness issues. We also found that participants adopted piggybacking as compromise tactic for AI fairness collaboration under organizational constraints. Similar to prior work, we use piggybacking to refer to the process of identifying potential allies with similar or overlapping interests and utilize or piggyback on the existing organizational resources and programs as much as possible. We found that practitioners often piggyback on institutionalized procedures to carry out the AI fairness collaboration. For example, multiple participants across diverse roles and companies share that they piggyback on organization-wide mandatory privacy-related procedures such as questionnaires and checklists in order to raise awareness about AI fairness and put AI fairness efforts into practice. As Data Science 3 shared with us, after encountering a lot of pushback from other team members to implement a questionnaire to make sure their recommendation systems were fair towards different races, they eventually carried out the AI fairness work by adding an extra set of questions specifically concerning AI fairness to the privacy impact assessment so that they don't have to persuade people since the privacy impact assessment is already a standardized procedure in their organization. However, during the design workshop, practitioners share their desire to implement standalone fairness assessment procedure, as well as further exploring the trade-offs and complementarities between privacy and fairness work instead of smuggling fairness in with privacy assessments. We also find that practitioners often piggyback on the quantification culture of AI development to carry out the collaboration. Participants share that when collaborating on AI fairness with technical roles in AI teams, practitioners often change communication strategies and draw on quantification approaches. However, many participants were aware of the potential pitfalls of using scores and percentages in AI fairness work and desire better processes to help navigate the current AI development culture around prioritizing quantification. Finally, participants share that their invisible labor and burden while working towards more effective cross-functional collaboration. For example, in one of the design workshops, data scientists and machine learning engineers share that they often go beyond their current job description to create educational documentation or accessible visualizations to bridge the knowledge gaps among AI practitioners. But these efforts are often overlooked by their leadership or team members. Data Science Pi mentioned that teams don't understand the amount of work that goes into doing AI fairness work. For any visualization or statistical analysis around AI fairness, practitioners have to put a lot of thought into making intentional analysis choices and think broadly about the social technical nature of AI fairness. So given these observations around current practices, what are some opportunities for us to better support cross-functional AI collaboration in industry settings? First, we suggest that future fact research should better support critical yet currently under-recognized bridging work in AI fairness collaboration, cross-functional collaboration. For example, Future research should design processes for practitioners across roles to exchange perspectives and deliberate around AI fairness issues. In addition, to help practitioners navigate mismatches in goals and approaches for AI fairness evaluation across different disciplines, future research should support integrating fairness related insights from both quantitative analysis and correlative data from user research. We also call for making the invisible labor in cross-functional AI fairness collaboration visible and valuable. Future fact research could explore processes and tools that help team members and organizations better recognize and value the efforts that enable AI fairness work and collaboration. Organizations need to recognize and incentivize the evolving roles of practitioners as translators, educators, and advocates. These could include establishing new educational programs, training, and even specific job descriptions for AI practitioners committed to the development of more equitable and responsible AI. Please refer to our full paper for a in-depth discussion around the opportunities and design implications to support cross-functional collaboration in AI fairness. Thank you so much. Please feel free to reach out um, through email or Twitter if you have any further questions.